Another one retorted and said, faith is like electricity. You can't see it, but you can feel it. And with that introduction, we'll move forward into some of the questions we've had. Just to sort of give viewers a feel, last uh, time round, we were talking about particular uh, questions relating to this whole issue of loyalty to nation and the loyalty particularly of members of Jamaat Amdiya to uh, their country, wherever that country will be. Indeed, many people I know raise the questions of when they come to our events. They often see, whether it's in the United Kingdom, the British standard being raised elsewhere in Germany, in India, in Pakistan, wherever it will be, wherever a convention is held, be it youth or otherwise, we're always demonstrating, not just outwardly, but also intrinsically, our loyalty to nation. And in that regard, maybe if we can take a step back into history, Bajwa Saab, if I, as alaykum, begin yeah, with yourself. Um, one of the questions which is often raised about the Jamaat Amdiya is the concept of the relationship Hazrat Masih Maulullah had with the British government, indeed his praise of the British government at that time. Could you perhaps sort of throw a bit of light on that? <coughs> yes, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. <coughs> Tariq Sahib, uh, before the advent of Hazrat Masih Maulullah the situation was this that uh, for British government, there was a Sikh rule in India. And in those days, there were so many restrictions on the Muslims that they were not free to practice their religion. Hazrat Musiya Muslim saw that period. Now after that, when the British came, they gave full freedom to the Muslims and also other uh, followers of other religions that they can practice their religion as they like. Now when Hazrat Musiya Sam saw this difference, at one side the time of the Sikh rule, on the other hand the time of the British rule, so he was really thankful to Allah the Almighty, basically, that God Almighty has changed the circumstances and now the Muslims and other people are free to practice their religion. In fact this is the teaching of Islam that uh, everybody should have the freedom of religion. As the Holy Quran says, La ikraha fi deen, there is no compulsion in the matter of religion. So in fact this uh, is something uh, belongs to Islam but British government followed it and this is very good, we are very pleased to say that. Now the, at the same time the Holy Quran, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said Man lam yashkure nasa lam yashkure Allah He who is not grateful to people, he is not grateful to Allah. So now when Hasb Masih was saw, saw that the British, British uh, government has done a great favor to the uh, to his just subject. So automatically, being a man of God, he was he should have been the first person that he should thank uh, Allah, but at the same time he should thank thank the British government as well. Now this is one side of the picture, <clears throat> but on the other hand, we should not forget it that as far as the Christianity is concerned, Hazrat Masih Muhammad never praised Christianity. <laughs> he only praised the system of government of the British people, not their religion. As far as his, their religion is concerned, their religion was Christianity and as Masih Muslim uh, said and written so much about Christianity. In fact, uh, everybody knows that he proved that Jesus Christ, who is God of the Christianity, he, cla he proved that he, he has died. So once he proved the, that Hasidis al-Islam, Jesus Christ has passed away, that means that the whole edifice of Christianity is demo demolished. So, Nobody should think that he is you know, in favor of uh, Christianity, not at all. He, is, he was only praising the uh, British government, but at the same time he has done so much service uh, of Islam as against Christianity that the, even all the people of India and the Skirit scholar, they admired Hazrat Masih of Islam and his uh, uh, you know, contribution uh, to the defense of Islam. I think as Bajaj Sahib has just yeah. mentioned, Actually, this point has to be noted that uh, the prophets of Allah, they always speak the truth. Whatever is the fact of the matter, they always speak it out. And whatever is wrong, they openly say that is wrong. Because they are the people of truth, ambassador of truth, and representative of truth. So as you have pointed out, Hazrat Musiyam Aulai praised the government for the good actions, and particularly the religious freedom which was given to the people. And everybody was free to practice their religion and to preach it and to enjoy the benefits of the freedom. So far as the wrong beliefs of the people are concerned, 
no prophet has ever uh, commended that one. Mm -hmm. But whatever is the reality, that is to be praised. Even in case of Jesus Christ, uh, Christianity, so far as the person of Hazrat Isa Islam is concerned, the promised Messiah Islam praised him because he is a glorious prophet of God. He never spoke anything against him. Always said, as it is mentioned in the Holy Quran, Vajihan fi dunya wal akhira, that he was a noble prophet. So he praised, he loved, and he mentioned beautifully about him. But whatever is the present belief of the Christian that they have taken him to be God, or they believe in Trinity, or they believe in atonement, or they believe in the death of Jesus Christ on the cross, all these things which are pillars of Christianity, he strongly rejected all these things. So this is the beautiful balance that we see in the life of the promised Messiah.